Good day grade tens. Welcome to your final lesson on measurement. In this lesson we're going to be looking at what happens if we multiply something by a factor k. And this sounds complicated, but if I look at if we look at examples, you can see it's actually pretty easy. What we're doing is saying what would happen if we just increase this if we change just the height and what would it make what difference would it make to our volume and our surface area so let's look at this okay so the volume is always the area of the base times by the height so this is going to be just length times breadth times height easy peasy right this volume the area of the base has remained the same so that is length times breadth but the height has become five times taller so therefore that's going to be times 5h which if we just distribute that out becomes five times length times breadth times height so if we call this the original volume we said v original is equal to length times breadth times height do you see that the new volume is going to be five times the original volume? Okay, so by multiplying just the one side by a factor of five, we have made this new volume have five times the original volume. Let's see what happens to our surface area. A total surface area is made up of the surface area of all of the sides, and there are six sides. There are three pairs of sides. There's, first of all, your B times H, and there are two of them, so it's 2 times b times h, okay, plus there is your L times b, which is your bottom and your top, so there are two of them, so it's 2 times L times b, and then finally there is 2 in the front and the back, there is 2 times L times h. Okay, so that is our total surface area. Okay, what would happen to our total surface area if we now had 5H? So our total surface area now would become, okay, we've got L times B and L times B, so it's just 2 times L times B still, okay, plus 2 times, but now this becomes 5H times B, and there are two of them, so it's 5H times B, plus, and now there are 2 of the L times 5H, 2 times the 5H times L. So this becomes 2 times L times B, plus 10 times HB, plus 10 times HL. Now, that doesn't seem to give us a very obvious answer as to what this total surface area has done from there to there. So I suggest that we put some numbers in. So let's pretend that this is a cube. So it's 1 times 1 times 1. So do you agree that it's going to be 2 of 1 times 1, plus 2 times 1 times 1, plus 2 times 1 times 1, which is just going to give us 6. Okay, nice and easy. Whereas this would be 1, 1, and now it is 5 times 1, which is 5. So let's see what it does to our total surface area now. This is going to be 2 times 1 times 1, plus 10 times h Okay, because instead of the H was still 1, right? So it's 1 times 1 plus 10 times 1 times 1. So this becomes 2 plus 20, which is 22. So it has significantly increased our total surface area. Okay, let's see what happens if I multiply two sides by a factor of K. So again, the original volume, VO, is just going to be length times breadth times height. But if we get the V nu, the V nu is going to be 5L times by B times by 5H. 5 times 5 is 25, so you've got 25 times LBH. So do you see that our V nu is 25 times bigger than our VO? So in fact, what is it? We could actually say that VN is equal to K squared times by the original volume. So it's k squared times the original volume. And if we go back for a second, you could see that this is actually, we could rewrite this, Vn 
is just k times the original volume. Okay, so the volumes are pretty obvious. So if you times the one side by k, you get it k times bigger. If you times two sides by k, you get k squared bigger. Let's look at our surface area. And again, to make it easy for us to understand, I'm going to let this be 2 and this be 2 and this be 2. So our total surface area is going to be again, let me just write TSA, is going to be 2 times L times B plus 2 times B times H plus 2 times L times H. Okay, then it's done spread six times. Right, so if we do this again, it's going to be 2 times 2 times 2 plus 2 times 2 times 2 plus 2 times 2 times 2, which becomes 4 times 2 is 8 plus 8 plus 8, which is 24 units squared. Now let's do this with this surface area. So 5L is going to be 5 times 2, which is 10. B is still 2, and this is now 10 as well. So if we use the same formula, we get the total surface area, the new one, new, is equal to 2 times the length times the breadth, which in this case is 10 times 2, 10 times 2, plus 2 times B times H, which is going to be 2 times B times the height, which is B2 times 10, plus 2 times length times height, which is now, notice, 10 times 10, 10 times 10. So what do we get? 2 times 10 is 20, times by 2 is 40, plus 2 times 10 is 20, times by 2 is 40, plus 200. So this now is 240 times, 280, my bad, 280 times bigger, I mean 280 units squared. So it has increased by more than 10 times. Right, let's do a final one. Let's multiply all three sides by factor k. So in this case, your volume is just going to be length times breadth times height. Okay, obvious. Now, the volume new is going to be 5L times by 5B times by 5H, which is going to be 5 cubed 5 cubed times by length times breadth times height. So do you agree that we could say the new volume is going to be k cubed times the original volume? So there's a definite relationship between our volumes. If we are talking about multiplying one side by a factor k, the new volume is just k times the original volume. If we multiply both two sides by a factor k, then it's squared, k squared times the original volume. And if we multiply all three sides by a factor k, then it's k cubed times by the original. Let's see if we can get a definite re relationship between our total surface area. So if we look at this again, we've got total surface area is 2 times length times breadth plus 2 times breadth times height plus 2 times length times height. And again, in fact, this time I'm going to make it way easy for myself. I'm going to weigh 1, 1, 1. So that becomes 2 times 1 plus 2 times 1 plus 2 times 1, which is just 8. Let's look at this now. If this year was now, instead of it being 5L, it is now 5, instead of being 5b it's 5, and instead of being 5h it's 5, do you agree that if we use this formula here, we're going to say it equals 2 times 5 times 5 plus 2 times, wait for it, 5 times 5 plus 2 times 5 times 5, okay, which becomes two, 5 times 5 is 25 times by 2 is 50 plus 50 plus 50, which equals 150 units. Okay, so you can see that multiplying these out becomes quite a lot different. Okay, so grade 10, you need to realize that more importantly than anything else, there is an 
obvious relationship between multiplying your size by factor k and your volume. The surface area there isn't an obvious uh, relationship. All there is is the fact that basically you've got it increasing at quite substantially. Right, grade tens, and that is the last lesson on measurement. Please make sure you know how the factor changes and have a wonderful day. Thank you.